Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I am here to show you how to create a snare drum. Now snare drums for me anyway are very difficult because they have a very specific sound, um, they have a wide variety of sounds but they, they are kind of more difficult I find to create in a synth world. But let's just try it out and see how far we can get. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to create this using a subtractor. So I'm going to create a subtractor and that's the initial sound of a subtractor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the sustain, which it's already dropped, thank God. Uh, we're going to move the delay down, or the decay, sorry. Um, we're going to remove the release. Just have it going up a little bit. Do the same thing on the amp envelope. Move the sustain down, decay down, release up just a little bit. And that's your basis for the sound. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable both oscillators. I'm going to have um, the top oscillator move up to 9 and minus. And this I'm going to move up to a square wave. I'm going to change the filter type. It, already it's starting to sound like a snare drum a little bit. One thing I would do though is I'd change it to a bandpass. Move down the frequency a little up the resonance a little and that is kind of the basis for the snare drum. Now you can also add a little noise here. Which is not having a lot of effect. Um, you can also up the FM amount if you want. Which is going to change the character of the sound. So that's the basics of the snare. Now, a lot of times you'll have um, a little bit of a noise sound at the end of the snare drum. So what I usually do to reproduce this is I'm going to create a Thor underneath here. I'm going to select both the Thor and the subtractor, and I'm going to combine them. And then up top here, I'm going to create a line mixer. Let's move that to the top. Let's shift to the back. Let's have the output for the subtractor going in, and then let's have the outputs for the Thor going in as well, and then have those outputs going back out. And let's open up Thor. Okay, let's change the oscillator to a noise oscillator. Um, let's also reduce the decay and the sustain all the way down, just like we did with the other um, subtractor oscillators or subtractor envelopes, I should say. And now there's your basic noise sound. And as it is, it's pretty good. Um, no real need to change much there. What you might want to do, though, to give it a little bit more character, you can create either select either the band, SH, or static. And then um, what I would do is move this modulation over to about 95 or so. Move the frequency up a little. Okay, and now I probably just reduce this down. You just want a little bit of it to pull through. You just want to hear that little noise sound towards the end. That's your basic snare. Now, the other thing um, I would do, uh, let's see, I would probably choose the mixer and then create an equalizer and then also create a compressor. Let's make sure all the routings are right. Okay, so don't want this going to the send. Instead, you want this actual output going into the input. And then you want to have the output. Uh, we're going there. No, you don't want to have that. You actually do want to have it going to the input. I'm sorry. And then you want to have the output going to the devices. Okay. 
So that's the way we're going to route it. Okay, let's put a little gain on the high end frequency over here. And then let's have parameter 2. Let's give that a pretty good gain, a healthy gain. A little bit more. Okay. Now, what I would do is I would immediately go in here to the programmer, take the um, EQ, take rotary 1. And this is going to be your tone switch. And then take rotary 1, go to the effect, go to parameter 2 frequency parametric 2 frequency okay so that's gonna be let's see we wanna go up to about 240 or so and maximum is pretty good so we don't want it to go lower than that and you can probably raise the gain just a little bit there we go That way you can select what kind of tone you want for it. Um, rotary 2, I would probably do the frequency of the subtractor, of the filter frequency. So let's do that. Filter frequency. And then select the subtractor. And then select rotary 2. And then you want the filter frequency. And then right now the filter frequency is 50. You want to be able to go to 0, so 0 is good. And you probably don't want it to go up to 127. You probably only want it to go up to about, I don't know, 90 or so. I have control over that filter frequency. Um, and then you probably want to have control over the noise level, which you can control here on this mixer level. So let's take the mixer, let's call this the noise level, and then on the mixer you can take rotary 3 and go to level of, uh, whoops, level 2, of channel 2, and you probably don't need to go all the way up, so probably about 71 or so. So you got no level, no noise. You can gradually introduce the noise. So that's how I would uh, start it off, and that's um, that would be how I would produce a snare drum. And uh, again, you can do this. You could probably find multiple different ways. There's probably a million different ways you can do it, but this is just one take on it. And uh, and I hope you found this interesting. Again, my name is Rob, and uh, come visit me at reason101.net for uh, all your reason needs. All right, thanks very much and thanks for watching.